Just like a lot of you watching this video, I sometimes struggle hitting fairways. Will an adjustable driver help me hit the ball straighter off the tee, hit more fairways, and essentially lower my scores? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi guys, my name's James Robinson. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Will an adjustable driver help you hit more fairways? I'm hoping it might help me hit more fairways. Mizuno claim that this new 220 STG driver is one of the best adjustable drivers ever made. Now my bad shot's left, and the final few holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club, that's really not what you want, is it? Um, right, that goes there. And the final few holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club, let's just say you don't want to go left. So I've set this Mizuno drive in a heavy fade setting just to see how many of the last few fairways we can hit if I was under pressure. And this first hole is the perfect hole because there's a uh, the big lake on the left hand side. So right, fades away. The plan is to aim at the left hand side of each fairway and hope the adjustability in this driver will fade the ball back in play. Attempt one. That is everything I wanted this video to be. Um, right, you're going to want to stay tuned because that's, uh, that's better than anticipated. So guys, just a real quick heads up. You're going to make sure you want to stay tuned right to the end of this video because the last hole we play, I'm going to spice things up just a little bit. Just a little bit. So make sure you stay tuned for that and comment below. Do you use an adjustable driver? If so, what setting do you use it in? And do you ever change it? Do you ever tweak it? Or have you thrown away the key? And you see guys, an adjustable driver doesn't have to be the adjustable weights. It can be the loft, it can be the face angle, it can be many different things. But guys, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Because there's daily golf related content just like this for you to enjoy. That's in the fairway. That's one tick in the box. And you see guys, into a bit of wind, that's not a bad tee shot at all. Pretty much exactly where we wanted it. So that's one fairway hit. I'm not going to waste too much time showing you the rest of the round because that's not what you're here for. You're here to see if maybe this adjustable driver can help me hit more fairways and maybe even yourself. So I have tested this driver with the weights at the back in the higher MOI setting, the more forgiving setting. And I've also, this is the wrong, two drives in the bag. I have tested this driver with the weights in the back, the higher MOI setting, and also the weights in the front, the lower MOI setting, obviously for a little bit lower spin. For me, it actually worked better with the weights at the back. I could just be how I was swinging on that day though. So this is a harder hole, the wind's off the right, and this has cost me so many shots in the past in medals. I'm now a member here, by the way, if you didn't know, and also just playing with my friends. So I'm gonna aim at the middle of the fairway and just hope that that adjustability in the weighting, obviously being the fade setting, will hold its line into the wind. This driver does look so good down at the ball, by the way. So good. Right, come on. Hold your line. Hold your line. And we're going to go after these as well, remember. Anything but left, realistically. Yeah. That's fading again. Which is what we want, obviously. I'm happy with that, I'll take that. Now you see, I have tested a lot of adjustable drivers in my time and I've bought them and I've played with them. Is it more of a honeymoon period? Does it really work? Is it worth the money? You always pay more money for an adjustable driver, obviously because of the R&D that's gone into that driver. So far, I mean, if anything, that, uh, if anything, that faded too much. Let's go and see where it is. Let's not forget this one as well. And it's funny actually, speaking of the TaylorMade Sim 2, a lot of brands have actually gone away from adjustability and they've gone more for lightweight, they've gone more to try and gain club head speed. They're saying that that's going to help players a lot more. But if that was the case, then why did we start making adjustable drives in the first place? Kind of gone full circle a little bit. But I'm enjoying this one so far. So as we walk up here, you'll see bang smack in the middle of the fairway. Now, this is a hard hole at the best of times. And that's not the longest drive I'm ever going to hit, but I take it in a medal play. Um, I'm quite astonished. I thought that would be further over there, but anyway. So that's two boxes out of two ticked. Um, and these are holes that often I'd go down to hit three wood on just to hit the fairway. 
is it the adjustability am i just swinging better today an adjustable driver will not change a swing floor it will not stop you slicing a ball if i put the four left swing on it if you're new to the channel guys i often hit it left we've got a bit of a joke four left i don't know how that materialized but it did it's not going to stop that but if it makes that tiny difference coming down the stretch sure it's worth every penny right two fairways out of two you see now this really is turning in to potentially the perfect adjustable driver test because the last hole the wind was off the right and this hole you guessed it it's um it's off the left so with the driver in the fade setting is that going to put me off at all with the wind so harshly off that left side there's another lake on the left here you can start to see why i'm really not a fan of these closing holes or they're not a fan of me i'm going to aim you never aim at a lake. I heard someone say the other day, I aimed out of bounds and it stayed out of bounds. Never aim in trouble. So I'm going to aim just at the left side of the rough. Hope it doesn't stay straight. It shouldn't do. But I hope it doesn't balloon right as well with in this setting. Please fade. Keep coming. A bit. I might be in the lake. I mean, I absolutely ripped it. I'm not going to lie to you. That was um, that was one of the best struck drives I think I potentially hit in a very long time. But it might be wet. That's disappointing. You see, that's obviously just a bad shot. Is there anything subconsciously there that's made me potentially? I'm going to clean that actually. That's made me potentially leave it out there a touch. Was I thinking I might miss it right? I mean, you can see there the hole's 429 yards, stroke index five. If you've got a score going, you, well, you don't want to do what I've just done, put it that way. Just when you think a video was going kind of too well. Ah. Right, so as we go and see if this tailor-made picks has found a watery grave, remember guys, stay tuned, because I'm going to spice things up a bit on the final hole. We've got one more hole before that. Hopefully we can hit another fairway. I, 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 I'm not going to lie, this is where the wheels could come off in a comp after that shot there. And there's no adjustability key that can save that, unfortunately. It doesn't put wheels back on, I don't think. The good news is there's no water in here. The bad news is I can't see my golf ball. Right, I've done a walk of shame and I've found it. Um, I mean, it's not actually that bad. You might just get away with that. It's certainly not lying amazingly well. It's not a shot you'd want in. So that's definitely a cross in the box for this hole. It's actually about 30 yards further back than what I thought it would be as well. Hmm, onwards. Last hole of regulation play before we start to spice things up just a little bit. Now this is actually a similar wind direction so I can put pay to that last shot. Remember I said the wheels might fall off. I don't think they are. Hopefully. We're going to go straight over these trees with a bit of fade. Maybe we'll straight over the bunker with a bit of fade. Come on. We've not hit one. Oh we have hit one left, sorry. Right, we need to get this in the fairway then. Ball ah. up! We did say an adjustable driver won't help that. I'm going to hit another one. We'll leave it in obviously, but that's another cross. That's two crosses. Right, this is a five. The first one was a one. I think we'll find it, but... There's no adjustable drive hitting that, and the wheels are off. The wheels are off. Come on, what was that? That's the one. It's always easier second time, but that's the one. Hey. Right, so you saw where they went. First one, not so good. Again, it might be like the last one. We might just was more of the smother hook, to be fair, so we might not find it. Second one was good, enjoyed it, started left, faded in. Maybe it's a shot, you maybe need to learn how to use the adjustable driver to hit a certain shape, but then shot shaping is quite important off the tee, especially for me, I like to move it both ways. Let's pick these up and get to uh, a rather difficult driving hole. We'll get the key out as well, I think. So the provisional ball is wonderfully in play, actually. That's the centre line here, so it opens the green up quite nicely again a little bit further back than what i would have potentially hoped for can we see the first one now i'm not going to spend too long looking for this because it looked destined for that bush 
Um, if it's caught up in this rough, then it's a bonus. Might be a pix down here. Oh, there's one in there. That's not a pix, that is an Inesis. Must be one of Fox's. I'm going to chalk that one down as a lost ball. First one for a while, actually, but... Right, let's spice things up, as I promised. Now, you can see this hole is a dog leg from right to left. So you're not always going to want to hit that baby fade. Sometimes, especially when the tee is tight to the left-hand side, you're going to want to move it right to left in the air. So, what about instead of fighting the right to left, we embrace it for this hole, and we try and send out... and get this out. Oh, oh don't do this way, you might lose one. We try and send out a nice big high rake in draw and embrace it. That's always an option, isn't it? By the way, this goes against everything I stand for about buying a fitted driver because uh, you should get it fitted and stick with it. But fun's fun. Also, you may be wondering why I'm only hitting one ball off each tee with this. Well, apart from the one that you snap hook and lose. Well, you only get one chance on a golf course and I massively believe when you get fitted for a driver and you're testing a new driver, you should hit multiple shots and see how it performs over a longevity of a session. But you only get one chance. So if we hit the fairway with this, with a big high raking, beautiful draw, I don't know. Right, we're gonna start it just over this right hand tree and hopefully the adjustability is gonna move it. The wind feels like it's just downwind, so hopefully we're gonna get a long one as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, all day. Never mind the baby fade, that's massive. There's something that brings out the child in me when testing drivers and to be honest, I uh, kind of like it. Well, I said we we're gonna spice things up. That's massive. Let's get down there and see where it is. I might even play in because I wanna see if I can birdie it with using the driver setting. I know all that's kind of gone out the window now, hasn't it? But guys, subscribe if you've enjoyed it, leave us a like, and let's see how we finish. I might actually have gone a bit ahead of myself because that might have drawn too much. We might be behind that massive tree. Oh dear, should have kept it in the fade setting maybe. <laughs> so I think what we're all learning here is um, maybe just, just try and work on your game instead of thinking adjustable driver is gonna change it completely for you. This is not ideal, we're actually too close. Uh, little chip around the bunker, use the gradient. Oh, this could come in to be wonderful. Come round, oh, it's gone up. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Well guys, on that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do adjustable drivers really help you hit fairways? start to look that way and it deviated a little bit i think we can all relate to that guys make sure you do work on your game i think an adjustable driver could potentially help if it's been fitted by the right hands but it's not going to be a lifesaver guys smash that subscribe button leave us a like and apart from that i'll see you all tomorrow Bye.